In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my tanning routine and sharing my tips and tricks with you guys using Loving Tan. Honestly, girls, if you've not tried it, you need to stay tuned because I promise you that you're about to up your fake tan game like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you my fake tan routine using Loving Tan. Oh my gosh, I'm not even joking. It's actually the best tan ever that you will not be disappointed if you haven't tried it yet you need to i've never actually done a tanning routine on my channel before so i'm really really excited to show you my top tips and tricks so this is going to be my tanning routine that i do on a weekly basis i don't think you can go wrong i've also got a discount code for you guys so if you use code lauren fay i'll pop it down here if you use code lauren fay at checkout you will get a free deluxe mitt which looks like this and i kid you not you need it in your lives. So if you just enter Lauren Fate at checkout, you can get a free one of these. Okay, so first of all, I just need to show you the packaging because I just think it's like unreal. Really cute and girly. I'm not even joking. My bathroom is like a pink and gray theme and this just fits in so well. It looks so pretty. When it arrived, I was like, oh my God, love it. So a little bit behind my tanning routine. Step one in my tanning routine, it is all in the prep. I cannot stress this enough. Preparation is key for maintaining a lovely tan. So the first thing I do is I run myself a really nice bath. I completely fill it up with bubbles, give myself a nice soak, and I take this as an opportunity to exfoliate my skin and just give it like a really good soak and a scrub. So I use the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt, which as you can see here, so the black side is definitely the more tough side and the pink side is a lot more gentle. I tend to use a bit of both and I kind of like rotate between the two. It is the perfect time to just sit in the bath, put your candles on, relax, read a book if you want, like have some chocolate if you want, just take in your time to relax and really scrub that excess tan off and give your skin just a really good exfoliate. So as you'll see, I just spend a little bit of time exfoliating on my body. One thing that I personally do differently is I actually shave a few hours before I have my kind of like exfoliating bath as I like to call it. So that is because my pores are quite open and if I shave and then fake tan straight away, I feel like my pores are quite visible and that's not really the look I'm going for. So yeah, like I said to you, I just sit back, relax in the bath, have a good old soak basically. So when I get out of the bath, I just pat myself dry and I don't actually moisturise. So me personally, I'm quite lucky, I don't have any dry patches of skin, so I don't feel the need to moisturise. If you do have dry patches, like maybe your elbows or your knees, then I would recommend just using a little bit of moisturiser and then giving it a little gap before you apply the fake tan. Personally, I wouldn't moisturise before I fake tan because I just feel like it doesn't go on as nice and I don't feel like it gives a smooth finish, which is obviously what we all want. So that is kind of my step one, it's all in the prep all about prepping the skin and getting that skin 100% ready for the fake tan. Okay, so step two is the application of the tan. So I actually start with my face, as you will see. So I actually have to be really careful with what I apply to my face. Um, I actually had laser treatment on my skin when I was 17 because I had quite bad skin when I was a teenager and I had quite a lot of scarring. I do have to be really, really careful what I apply to my skin because I do have quite a lot of open pores and my skin is still a little bit on the sensitive side. So I actually use the Deluxe Face Tan, which oh, it is so nice to have a face tan that doesn't irritate your skin and has the most perfect application. So I love this because it is so nourishing and lightweight. It is the most lightweight face tan I've ever tried. So this one contains green tea and aloe vera to name a few of the ingredients and honestly it is one product that I absolutely swear by. It doesn't stick to my pores or anything like that. It's natural and it is buildable. So if you do just want to apply a little bit to get a feel for it then you can do and then you can build it up as much as you want um, depending on what look you're going for. So as you guys can see I blend it in with a foundation brush. It can use You can use your fingers for this or you can use a foundation brush. I just find it a little bit easier using a brush I feel like it's a little more even and as you will see I do take a little bit of time to build it up and really make sure that it's all rubbed in. I have gone back and added a few layers as you will see so I did um, start off with quite a small amount and I do this every time and this is just to build it up gradually and just to make sure that it is really blended in. It's only got a, a two hour developing time so it's perfect if you're a bit last minute like me and you do want to actually just pop some on before you go out and um, you can do that. Also it does have a really nice glowy finish so you can just use this um, and actually not have to wear foundation. I personally still wear foundation over the top of mine, unless it's in summer. When it, when we have hot weather, I feel like I will probably just wear the fake tan because it's a really natural glow. But yeah, I love having the option of doing both. You can either just wear it on its own or you can build it up and wear foundation over the top of it still. Okay, so moving on to my body, I use the mousse in ultra dark, which I will show you here. My theory is if you're gonna tan, you may as well go for the ultra dark. I mean, 
especially at the moment when we're all stuck inside. I just want to look like I've just got back from a holiday. So as you will see, this is my colour before and as you can see I am very pale, naturally. I do usually have quite olive skin but um, where I haven't been in the sun for a while I've gone quite pale and I do usually spend a bit of time applying my tan and I do so quite gradually. I absolutely love this mousse, it smells amazing and it has a guide colour as you will see, so the guide colour is perfect, it gives a really easy application, honestly like this is perfect for anyone because you can't go wrong because you can see the tan as it goes on, you can blend it in, <laughs> it's just an absolute game changer basically. So it also contains two ingredients to help illuminate orange tones, so one of those is DHA and the other one I'm going to pop in here because unfortunately I can't pronounce it and I'd rather not embarrass myself. Another thing I love about this tan is it isn't sticky at all. Um, there's no nasty smell, it's got a really lovely floral scent actually and not too heavy, just kind of like a light one and yeah it just doesn't stick whatsoever and that is again something I love because I can't bear it when you put fake tan on it's all sticky, you don't get that with this tan, there's no stickiness and there's no smell of biscuits because again <laughs> we don't want that. So as you can see I just kind of like spend a little bit of time on this, hence why I haven't included it all in there because I feel like you'd be bored silly. So I actually slept in this for around 8 hours and you may notice that I changed my top halfway through, that is just because I wanted to get to like the other areas. So I always sleep in this tan, you could just leave it on for like the whole day if you wanted to but I sleep in it, I find that it's much easier for me to tan at night. So as I mentioned I slept in this fake tan for 8 hours, I wore my pyjamas and I have white duvet cover as you can see behind me. One thing that really changes everything for me is that when you wake up the next day, normally, you're going to have like some tan residue on your bed. There was actually nothing on my pyjamas or on my bed. There was nothing, which I literally couldn't get over it. I literally have nothing on my bed. Um, I would always recommend just sleeping in like a baggy shirt or something that you don't mind if a bit of tan does come off. But I've been really lucky so far and no tan has come on my white bed sheets or my pyjamas. So that again is a game changer. So here is the colour when I finish my tan. And as you can see, it's a really nice bronzed tan. And then I go to sleep for around eight hours and I usually just chuck on some pyjamas and get into bed. So as you guys can see, here is the colour when I wake up and it's still an absolutely gorgeous deep bronzed tan. I absolutely love the way that it's turned out so far. And I then go ahead and rinse off the tan in the shower. Now I usually don't have the shower too warm. I usually have it quite a like lukewarm temperature and I don't tend to rub my skin. I just tend to let the water kind of like fall down me. I'll still wash my hair and things like that. I just don't tend to like rub my skin I kind of just let the water run one thing again you will notice that not much residue comes off so it is literally a small amount of the guide color that comes off aside from that like there'll be hardly anything in the water so now I'm going to insert a clip of me as soon as I step out of the shower and you can see the color that it is okay so this is me out of the shower I am obsessed I feel like I look like I've just got back off holiday as you can see I was still really nice and brown hardly any of it came off and it's just perfect like Honestly girls, I can't tell you how much you need to try it. Okay, so step three. So I don't know about you, but my skin, I find with my skin that after a few days I kind of want to top it up a little bit. So to top up my tan, I use the Loving Tan Gradual Tanner. This one here. So I actually tend to use this, like I said, two days after I've applied the tan, or if I've had a shower and I feel like I just want to go a little bit darker and want to make that tan a little bit more intense, then I will go ahead and apply a layer of it. Again, you can use this product on its own, you don't have to use it in conjunction with the mousse, but I tend to do so, just to kind of build it up. So the good thing about this gradual tan is that it maintains and moisturises your tan, so as you'll see, I just apply it to my legs and... It just helps maintain the tan and makes it feel really nourishing. It also dries really, really quickly and again, it's just got a really natural colour. As you guys will see, I use the tanning mitt, this one here, to apply it. You can just apply this every few days or you can apply it every day if you want more of an intense tan. I actually tend to use that as my moisturiser. Obviously, you don't have to, but for me, I feel like that is enough to kind of keep my skin looking fresh and to maintain my tan. And then step four, I use the bronzing shimmer cream. So the final step in my tanning routine is the bronze shimmer cream. Oh my god. So if you've got maybe like an event or if I'm filming a video or if I'm going out somewhere, I tend to use this as a bit of a pick-me-up and a bit of a boost. The glow on it is unreal, like honestly. It's got so much shimmer, it just stands out and it just makes your skin look really, really smooth. Again, it's buildable, it can be worn on its own. I just feel like it gives a bit of a glow up, to be honest. It gives a really smooth and satiny finish. Although it is like a really glowy and smooth product, I feel like it still looks really, really natural. I just feel like it gives you like, kind of like that holiday glow. Again, a really, really amazing product. So as you guys will see, the before and after is crazy. You can really, really see a difference and I just can't recommend Loving Tan enough. As I mentioned, if you use code Lauren Faye, you can get a free mitt at the checkout and 
I would definitely recommend trying something. You only have to wait a few days for it to arrive and it honestly is worth every penny and it is worth the wait. There's not even a massive wait on it but I would just recommend waiting because honestly, those few days, you're gonna look like you've been on holiday, you can make it as natural as you like it. The exfoliating mitt is gonna be your new best friend. The tan is just gonna be an ultimate game changer in your life, like honestly. <laughs> you'll never need to sunbathe again. So guys, that is it from me and my tanning routine. If you've got any questions, then comment below and I'll answer them for you. And if you do use my discount code, then be sure to let me know. And if you guys have tried Loving Tan, or you're gonna try Loving Tan, then let me know what you guys think, because I promise you, your tanning routine will never be the same again. And I will see you in my next video.